I think uh, I love the looks, it's the engine, it's the way it drives. It, it just puts a big smile on my face getting behind the wheel and driving this. My name is Matthew Lange and I drive a 1973 Ferrari 365 GTB4 Daytona. My dad bought this car in 1974 when it, it was a year old and actually so was I a year old. He bought it to use every day, in fact it was his company car and used it every day for the next three to four years racking up about 30 to 40,000 miles and it was a car I always loved as a child and he kept it as he built up a car collection of his own. As he got older, it was always, he said that he was going to pass it on to me when he passed away, but he came to the conclusion that when I was 30 that he would pass it on to me then because that I was still young enough to actually enjoy it. So when I was 30, the car became mine. When I first got the car, it scared me a lot. It was, I was driving a Porsche 944 every day, which is a similar configuration, but this was a, a, a significant step up in power and a step down in grip. I really enjoy driving it. I try and drive it as, as much as I can, depending on, depending on the, uh, the weather or such. I and mean, obviously you, you have to, with living in the UK, we have to take account for you can't drive it when, the, when it's really salty. It's an old Italian car. And a lot of people say, old Ferraris, they sit in garages collecting dust. But it's a fairly robust car. Me and my wife go, uh, have been to France in it for the last two years. We do like a thousand mile round trip around France. It's always nice to really stretch the car's legs. It always seems to come back and it, it, it frees up a little bit after putting sort of four or five hundred miles in a day on it, which is a car it's more than capable of. Daytona name is actually not an official name given by Ferrari. Uh, their, their Ferrari prototypes finished first, second and third in the 1967 24 hours of Daytona and this was the model launched immediately afterwards. That Daytona has had the same mechanic look after it for the best part of 30 years I think now. But its uh, bodywork has always been good. It was last actually repainted in 1985. I mean a lot of people comment that they can't believe the paint is that old. I think we, the body shop we used was clearly very very good. There's only two real significant modifications on the car. On the front of it, you'll see that there is a, a nudge bar, which my dad, when he was using the car every day in the 70s, he was obviously driving into London and he was worried about the front end with it being, when it was being parked, having some protection. So that was a dealer fit option that he had retrofitted. The other more significant modification, and it's controversial sometimes, is that I've had a power steering system added with, from a Ferrari 400. It's a bit of a culture shock moving to something with so old and without power steering and Daytonas do have notoriously heavy steering. In terms of technical specification it's a 4.4 litre 4 cam V12 with six twin choke Weber carburettors providing the fueling system. Uh, Ferrari quoted and apparently from people who've dyno tested it is a very reasonably accurate 353 brake horsepower. One of the most powerful engines you could buy back in, in those days. When I was in France about three years ago, when I, unfortunately I think the tyres were getting a little older than I maybe realised, I had a moment on it where the back end stepped out quite suddenly. Obviously the, the balance is about 50-50 in the car with the gearbox at the back, but when it snaps it does snap quite violently. It's a car to use, I mean it's certainly it's not in concourse condition, um, but it's, uh, 
one I think it's in, a, it's in good driver condition, as I think all the magazines would like to call it, and I, I like to keep it that way. I don't want to spend my money polishing it up and get, making it nice to win a, win a cup. I actually want to use the car. You don't want to get these cars to get forgotten about. I have no plans to sell the car ever. Um, my father passed it to me, and my full intention is we'll pass it on through the future generations of my family.